Hello everyone and welcome back to another Starfield console mod video for Xbox. Yesterday's video was a big success with lots of you eager to see the best mods for Starfield to improve your gameplay on console. Now I only had 87 mods to choose from in the last video and I went through them all and narrowed it down to the best 10 or so. But since then there have been over 100 new mods added to the Creation Club and I'm going to go over 10 more of the best ones. Also I want to say a big thank you to all the new subscribers we've had on the channel since, since yesterday. I really appreciate the support. So today we have 10 more mods to go over that I recommend you check out starting with the concept art Aquila. This is a simple mod that turns Aquila into something resembling closer to the game's concept art. Basically the ground is covered a lot more in snow and it just looks a lot more interesting. Shades Immersive Looting. This strips any equipped armor or clothing from your fallen foes, or you can simply loot all with one button. Steal items from knocked out targets instead of pickpocketing and waking them up. All features are optional and can be configured in the setting slate from the player's inventory. It also adds an additional button prompt when looting dead NPCs to strip their equipped items for the taking, and adds an additional button prompt when looting dead NPCs to loot all items in one button press. It also adds to dead stripped NPCs the harsh environmental conditions, which you can see the visual effects after five seconds. You can see in this clip there is a cold effect on the NPC. After five minutes, they will show signs of long-term decay. And in this case, they have red blotches on them, but it will differ depending on the environmental hazard you are currently in. A simple but very much more immersive mod for looting in the game. Ivantech Shipyards adds a new ship part with futuristic designs. Parts are available in the ship builder menu, allowing you to have more ship variety for your current ship, or you can build a brand new ship with all of the parts. And the neon lights especially make your ships look a lot cooler, and there's definitely a mod worth checking out. If that's not your thing, then you can add in a brand new ship to the game called the Avenger ship. The Dark Star Astrodynamics mod is designed to empower and reward those who push higher levels and travel into New Game Plus. Ship modules are split between M series and X series. The M series modules are designed to serve non New Game Plus players, and the X series are exclusive to New Game Plus players. The mod also provides several enhancements to the way Starborn are rewarded as they enter a new game, making it easier to acclimatize to the new reality. Visit the basement of the lodge next to the Mark 1 armor case to access the Dark Star terminal and pick up the slate with the details. Gain access to the Dark Star Avenger MK1 through to MK5 and fly a prototype ship that does not count against your fleet size and you will get it completely for free starting from level 40. All you have to do is add it to your game from the terminal and then head to one of the ship merchants to make it your home ship and then that is all you need to do and you can customize it as well if you want to. Next we have Color Filter Removal and it's actually my favourite mod we've had so far. The mod removes the ugly colour filters through the game, making the game look less washed out and desaturated, and it restores natural colours to the game as well. Should be compatible with any of the other mods that don't affect colours in the game, and now greens, blues, yellows, it doesn't matter what the filter of the planet or moon is, it will be removed with this mod. And the game definitely feels a lot more natural and I have to say there is a big improvement visually as before the game just felt very foggy. Everything is just incredibly clear now, especially at night, and I highly recommend this mod for you to install. For the paid mod in this video, I like the Enforcer Tactical Pistol. A sleek, customizable and deceptively powerful ballistic handgun based on the old Earth design from the late 20th century, and it has been made available to people in the settled systems thanks to the Terra Tactical and their distributors. Features the Enforcer, a new ballistic pistol that uses .45 ammo, multiple customized options from muzzles and sights to calibrate conversions and cosmetic changes. It's been added to the level lists, so the weapon will appear in the base game, which is just the base pistol, which you can of course customize, but there are several unique variants added for you to find. The Aftermath, located in the museum in New Homestead, which is the one I'm showing you in the video. Evaluation Sample 17, located at Mass Tower. First Strike located at the Mech Factory Command Center, 
and Memento Terra locate on Siren of the Stars. Boba Fett and Mandalorian Armors. These two mods add the Mandalorian armor and jetpack from Star Wars and it comes in two different versions. Din Djarin's first suit of armor from the series and his Berserker armor that he wears through the rest of the series as well. Both can be changed out at the spacesuit workbench and to go with this I've also added in the Book of Boba Fett armor as well as they're both from the same creator and you get them the same way. So where do you find them? Both armors can be found in the Lair of the Mantis next to the Mantis armor. It shares the exact same legendary effects and stats as the Mantis armor, so you can play mostly vanilla through with this armor set. The capes can be crafted at an industrial workbench if you want to add those. And I should also mention that this doesn't replace the Mantis armor, it's just a brand new armor on its own. Both look really cool, and you can't really go wrong with some Star Wars armors, especially now that they've added bounty hunting into Starfield. Sidonia Executive Suite. When Deimos was a newer shipbuilder, they had a suite for their VIPs underneath their offices. But now it is disused and empty, so has been put up for sale using a kiosk outside of the door. This mod adds a player home to Sidonia underneath the Deimos offices, and since Sidonia is part of the United Colonies, you must be a citizen in order to purchase it, and it also costs 100,000 credits. It has a main living area with kitchen, balcony to overlook the mines, a bedroom, a weapon vault, and a bathroom, along with a closet. The living room and bedroom have light switches and you can open the windows and underneath there is a escape hatch for the home's residents to make a quick getaway. Thick civilian clothing and playable civilian clothing. This mod simply makes proportions of some of the civilians clothes more thick, which I found to be pretty funny. But to go with this mod, I also installed playable civilian clothing to make all civilian clothes equipable for you and your followers. So head to the industrial workbench and you can craft any of the civilian clothes in game and equipment to your character. Of course, there are male and female civilian clothes, so there might be some clipping if you try to equip them on the wrong person. But basically, you can equip any civilian clothing to you or your followers. And as far as the thick civilian clothing goes, I'm pretty sure it only works on the female followers or civilians. So keep that in mind. But it just adds a bit more variability to your gameplay with these two mods. Lastly, we have a cool new settlement mod called Build a Farm. Build your own farm with 17 new buildings, desert house, desert tent, three plants, including rosemary, root and sage. Fences, palm trees, wood piles, brick piles, and other decorations. You can wall it in, plant your own gardens, and it's perfect for anyone who wants to make a relaxing place to live. The base settlement builder is pretty terrible, but with this mod, it adds another decent addition to the game that makes building worth your time. So there we have it guys, 10 more amazing mods for you to try out in Starfield and Xbox, and of course all mods are available on PC as well. If you liked the video, subscribe and leave a comment about your favourite mods so far, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.